How did COVID impact you at the beginning in terms of recruiting and running this academy? It was a it was a substantial impact because it was all of the uncertainty that we had, not knowing what we were going to get really out of money. Everything mm -hmm. was closed. We didn't know what tax resources were going to do. So we substantially decreased the operation of our academy to prepare for that. And while we remained even, that was our goal is to remain even rather than increase. We now we're suffering from that. So now we're, we're in the process of ramping back up uh, to what we were in 2019, early 2020 of now we're pushing for more employees, stepping up the sizes and the frequencies of our academies. So doubling the number of academies. Yes, we're, we're down to two academies a year. We're going to go to four again, and then we will increase the size of the of the cadets that are in those academies. And that will all improve public safety. There'll be more deputies on the streets, more deputies uh, in the jails. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jails are, are part of our biggest concern. We've got the academy that you, you may have saw earlier that was a corrections academy that was out here earlier. And um, we need all of them. We need deputies, patrol deputies mm -hmm. and correctional deputies. So we're, we're full steam ahead on the hiring for us. Mm -hmm.